Yo, what's going on guys? Chris Barney here, Overtime Athletes. Hey, so for today's video, what I wanna discuss is something that I've been getting a lot of questions about is how do you perform plyometrics in the isometric phase, right? And it's kind of contradictory, right? Because true plyometrics are working through that entire stretch shortening cycle. In fact, a lot of the jump training we do aren't true plyometrics, but when we're grouping jump training as a whole, as far as dynamic movement goes, um, you know, the whole goal is to be able to stress that body in a particular way. So when we're working that isometric modality, I wanna go over two methods or two exercises and drills that in what we actually perform to be able to essentially increase one's vertical jump or speed or power uh, from the hips. So uh, we'll have Coach Jordan come here to demonstrate. So the first one I wanna go over, remember the isometric phase is all about three things, increase motor unit recruitment, reduce compensation, and increase tendon stiffness, right? These are the benefits of that phase and that's why we place it first. So the first one we're gonna do is what we call ISO extremes. And this is taken out of a page right out of uh, a coach I had back in college. His name was Jay Schroeder and I've just kind of progressed it a little bit farther along. Um, but the first one is gonna be, we're gonna go into an ISO extreme squat. So he's gonna get his feet lined up just like he would in a squat position, right? I want toes forward, feet underneath the hips. Now from here, what I want him to do is lower himself into a parallel or just above parallel squat right and now from this position the only difference is is he's actually pulling himself into this position he's actively driving his feet down and out he's not just passively trying to sit in this position so if we do this for a, on, on a running clock he's actually pushing screwing his feet down into the ground why are we doing this right this this you can stand up what this addresses is reducing compensation, okay? So when this athlete, to be able to get him fired up, those motor units fired up in the actual hips, we wanna produce torque through the hips by externally rotating the femur. This fires the hips and allows us to use those when we go to perform a vertical jump, okay? So instead of active or passively just sitting there, he's actively trying to spread the floor. By firing those up, not only do we rec recruit the motor units, but we reduce compensation when we go to jump. The second drill I wanna go over in the isometric phase is gonna be oscillatory isometrics. Now, Jay called these low squat foot jumps, but basically this addresses more of the motor unit recruitment, but it also addresses tendon stiffness really well. So he's gonna get into the same position that he was basically just in in that squat. Now from this position, he's gonna raise the heel slightly. So we're now we're stressing that Achilles and arch of the foot of the lower limb, right? He's externally rotating. So now he's fired up the hips. And now from here in this position, I want you to rapidly relax and contract by pulling the hips. Okay, so right there, boom. Oscillating back and forth as fast as you possibly can. Good, and relax. So there you have it. There's two drills right there from the isometric phase. Now, along with this phase, we still perform low level true plyometrics, things such as squat jumps, things such as lunge jumps, pogo jumps throughout. But if we're stressing this modality maximally, here's two go-to ones. In addition to that, there's obviously other variations we do with this. You can do this from a sumo stance where we're training it wide, hitting a little bit more of that glute med, same thing spreading the floor. We can train it from a split lunge stance and be able to isolate and get a little bit more unilateral, uh, things such as that. So when you're talking about jump training, right, you have to understand this is dynamic movement to be able to increase one's vertical jump and speed. It's not necessarily a true plyometric, but this is how we stress it to be able to increase performance. I hope that helps and I'll catch you guys next time.